So guys, love at Scout One. I'm just um, going to do a short a review on this pouch that I've had, I've had made. Um, the guy that made it goes by the handle of Strato Man Base Jumper. It's a guy called Reno. He lives up in Canada. Now Reno is a, a quite a quite a talented guy. He's just getting into his his leather work. Um, and um, I, I did a search for leather possibles pouch because I wanted a possibles pouch. Now some of you have been in touch with me about the possibles pouch videos that I've uh, sorry the possibles pouches that were on my opening screen opening screen and my credit screen introducing the channel uh, and those are Ray Mears pouches which um, I've got survival kit in at the moment and I've got quite a few other different um, leather pouches which I use for, for stalking, for hunting, for survival, for bushcraft etc but I wanted one just plain leather I could stick on my belt that didn't have a load of whistles and bells and didn't you know one out of way and one awkward and one cumbersome to carry so um, I found a video by this guy called Strato Man Base Jumper, a guy called Reno, uh, and he had three pouches that he that he'd made, um, and they were for sale. So I said, "Do you know what? If there's one left, I'd like one." And he said, "Well, that's that's great. It's modelled off a pouch that Dave Canterbury's got. Now, if you look at Dave Canter Dave Canterbury's site, which is Wilderness Outfitters, I think it's called." It's called something like Everyday Carry or Fire Kit Everyday Carry. I stand to be corrected, but check that one out. It's a, The video starts where Dave's lighting a fire by primitive methods. Um, and I, all I wanted really was a pouch that was easy to use, that I could put on my belt with my knife and just set off. It doesn't look, it's not, it's not military looking, it's not covered in camo, it's not covered in buckles. It's a very, very simple pouch. And usually the very very simple things are the easiest to use and the easiest to look after this is oil tanned leather um, it's been well stitched it's been machine stitched um, and he asked me if I wanted anything fancy on it and I, I do like Celtic stuff you know a bit of, bit of a Celtic knot on there um, and it's great so instead of having leather a leather thong which Dave Canterbury's pouch has got he's put some strong 550 paracord in and a double thickness toggle which is which is better for me because I tend to break leather thong in I don't know about you guys but but I do so and I wanted something that I could just put a few bits and bats of kit in so should I ever wander off the beaten track should I ever need to just sit down and make a fire um, repair some kit whatever then I've got all I need there so we'll, we'll jump straight in um, this is basically primitive fire kit it's flint and steel um, it's it's a it's a um, viking style fire steel um, this one I've, I've tried a few different ones and they just aren't the quality they're in the quality there so so I, I've looked at a few I looked at a few at different shows and one thing or another so I was recommended to get one from Ray Mears Bushcraft so I bought one from the Woodlaw site and it do not disappoint you know that I think it was 15 quid that but it doesn't really disappoint it came with a nice big chunk of flint um, and I've just got a little leather bag there it's got some char cloth in it's got some flint in it's got some hemp rope in there that you can you know you can make into a bird's nest or use to you like your bird's nest but I really do like it it was worth the money uh, and I bought a, a little <coughs> leather pouch from Sharp Designs just to, to stick all the sharp bits in. So um, that's in there. Um, in here um, we've got um, a big ferrocium rod and a couple of pieces of sharpened um, hacksaw blade and a very thick sail needle. Um, Dave Canterbury is a big, big thing on this 10 seas of survival, and those that you've read his book will know what that's about. But that's covering, that's covering two of them: com combustion device and a, uh, a cloth and sail needle. Uh, let's have a look what else we've got in there. This is quite a funky thing. It is basically an opinal, I think. Um, I picked this up in an outdoor sports shop in Greece on a little island we've been to on holiday. Um, it's just the same vibra lock action that. Um, that an opinal's got, but it's got a Sandvig stainless blade with a picture of a, I presume it's an eagle on it, and it says VA Sporting Goods. Now I don't know if they're made 
for the Greek market or what I don't know. It says made in France round it, so I'm I'm thinking it's possibly a possibly a, an Opinel clone. But if you notice the the blade, it 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 does sort of drop to a point, which sort of gives away its Scandinavian heritage a little bit. But I do like that. It wasn't very expensive. It sharpens up really well, and I do like the fact that I, I don't think it does it on the Opinel, but you can lock the blade shut as well, which. So anyway, ideal to carry. So what else have we got in the pouch? Um, so more more means of making fire. Really, we've got a little um, Fresnel lens there, a, a plastic one. Um, these survival tools, these survival cards you've all seen. That came free with some with some kit that I bought from from an online retailer. And um, this, which is a blanket pin, which I got from Dave Canterbury's site, which. Um, you can use as a you can use as a um, a blanket, you know, to pin your blanket up. But you can also use as a flint and steel. Also, uh, we've got a little um, plastic tub there that's just got some needles and threading, some artificial sinew. It's got um, a fire striker in there, and then what I've got round there, I've got some sail sail cloth, uh, some sail cloth thread with some jaffa tape round it, and I've got some thread round that. Uh, just some normal button thread, and that's got a got a um, a fire striker on the bottom there. Uh, what else have we got in there? Uh, some lifeboat matches, and then we've got what we call in Yorkshire sizel. You guys call it hemp hemp string or hemp, but that you know we call it sizel where I come from, and that oops that just you know unfolds that to. Uh, to um, you know, make a bird's nest, or it's very good. Once once that gets wet, it dries re and it and it dries. It dries really, really tight. And then that's just the inside of the pouch. The inside of the pouch there, good belt, good belt loop on it. Uh, and that was I think 45 Canadian, um, and it, it, the delivery was really quick. And I'm you know I'm really happy with it. Um, and again, give a big shout out to Renault who made it for me. Um, fantastic double thumbs up so um that's just another quick video um uh, it, it's a nice thing um and I'm, I'm enjoying carrying it rather than having loads of different packs and stuff on my belt and you know things for knives and one thing or another it's nice just to have one thing and, and and not make it difficult and and make it a bit easier for myself right guys thank you very much for that I uh, I hope you like that video. Um, by by all means, comment, like, and subscribe, and um, I'll see you all soon. Cheers.